Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today I have a question from Daryl. So Daryl's question is, Dear Cyber Sue, I love my wife, but the lack of intimacy is impacting our relationship. My wife and I have been married for 15 years, but sex has become non-existent in our relationship. I'm attracted to her and I do love her, but she is not interested in being intimate at all. We are both in our late 40s and we don't have children. I have expressed my concern about this issue many times, but she continually shrugs it off. We used to have a great sex life, but that changed about five years ago. I'm now thinking of ending our marriage due to this reason. It's not very enjoyable living with somebody who has a problem being intimate with you. There are no medical issues that we know of, so why would she be so disinterested and think that this is okay? Any suggestions you have would be great. Thank you, Daryl. I completely understand your concerns because this is something that holds a relationship together. Intimacy, affection, love, all that stuff is what makes a relationship stand the test of time. And a lot of people say after a few years, they get bored. The, there's not the same interest anymore. There's The connection has been diminished, so to speak. But the problem with this is everything takes work. It doesn't matter whether it's raising your children, whether you have a pet, whether you have a really great career, you have to put energy into everything that you do in this life. But a lot of couples don't put that same energy into maintaining the love in their partnership. They forget how to nurture things. Daryl, you said you had it good for 10 years and then five years later, you haven't really had much going on. Something must have transpired within that time frame. And the fact that it's gone on for this long is not good. There should have been something done about this quite a while ago. The fact that your wife says, well, I just don't want to talk about it. I don't want to deal with it. It's just not what I want. I'm not interested. You have to get to the bottom of what, what happened, what transpired. There's two people in this relationship. So something must have taken place that maybe you're both not really being honest about or you're not taking ownership of. If your wife has pulled back from you in an intimate way, you have to have the talk with her in a gentle way. Because what happens, I find with people who the sex has stopped, they kind of start getting a little bit mad about it and they'll throw little digs Oh, well, what's the point? I'm not even going to bother because you're not going to want to anyway. So there's this sort of stuff that goes on because the one person is hurting because they're being rejected and the other person is just in this, you know, blase mood about it all and thinks it's okay to do this. Well, it's not okay to do this at all. You have to have some form of affection within your partnership. It's necessary to sustain the relationship. You're definitely not alone dealing with this, Daryl. This is one of the biggest questions I get on my advice column. And there's something that's happening that people really need to start paying attention to. Because when you go into a marriage and you commit and you walk down that aisle, you've got things that you are promising each other. And if you let this part of your relationship go, it's really hard to bring it back. The fire should always be lit between the two of you. Whenever there's an issue, it needs to be dealt with immediately, not five years later. I understand you've mentioned it to her quite a few times, but you haven't done any other work, the two of you. You have to do work when it gets to this length of time. It might be having to talk to a counselor. What's changed? Maybe there's a lot less, less attraction towards each other. Maybe you've let yourselves go a little bit. I don't know the scenario. I'm just throwing out things that I've experienced with other couples in the past. A lot of it's just there's not as much effort made to be attractive for your partner. And then what happens, you lose that sort of lust for each other because what was there in the beginning is not there anymore because 
Maybe both of you are making the effort. Maybe only one of you isn't. The bottom line here is it is not okay to let the intimacy go completely in your relationship. It is the glue that will keep you together for years to come. And it's important to remember that. It doesn't mean you have to have sex five days a week. It can just be once every two weeks. It could be once every week. Whatever you can agree on together as a couple, there needs to be a compromise. Now, there could be a situation you said you don't think it's a medical scenario, but she's in her late 40s, so she could be in perimenopause. Perimenopause changes your emotions, changes your hormones. There's a lot of things that go on in that stage of a woman's life. If she would be willing to get tested, she could just figure out what her hormone levels are. That could also help. Maybe she's losing some of her, her libido. And maybe she's scared to talk about it. There's all sorts of things that can go on here. And the less that you, you delve into it, the more it's going to be, you know, getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger that you finally just give up. You don't even discuss it at all. And then you don't want to come home anymore. You're not happy with what's transpiring between the two of you because you've lost that really deep connection. And this is what happens when a couple lets things go for too long. It's been five years. Yes, it's a long time, but you're still in your early or your 40s. So you still have lots of time left to have that great libido. So let's figure out what this is. Don't just sit back and say, well, my wife doesn't want it and I want to leave the marriage. You need to look more into what's happening here. If you love each other, it's worth the fight. If you don't love each other, that's a different story. If your wife is always feeling a little bit attacked or criticized because of this change in your sex life, it can be a turnoff for her. It can also make her go inward, turn inward. Like, what's the point? He's just mad. And then for her to want to go into the bedroom after you've had the discussion isn't going to happen because now she's frustrated. Now she feels like you just don't understand. So there's two people here, as I said earlier. So you both have to take time to understand. Be gentle. Don't, don't pressure for a while. Just get out of the house, go for walks, hold her hand, put your, her, your arm around her, talk nicely to her when you're out somewhere. And maybe that romantic part of your relationship can, can come back. And then that can sort of set a little bit of the fires back again. I think it's really a good idea that you do go for couples counseling because I think this can really help both of you progress and move forward. And if she maybe sees the counselor by herself and talks to them privately once in a while as well, the counselor can help her separately because maybe there is something hormonally happening right now. Maybe there's something she's just dealing with that she feels that there's a loss between the two of you. But if you both still leave it, love each other, you can get it back. Women like to feel attractive to their man outside the bedroom as well. So if you can implement things like that with her, letting her know that you love her, that you find her attractive, all those things, that really helps her feel more comfortable. I really suggest you take some ownership here because it's seldom just one person's fault in a relationship when things alter to this degree. We all are attracted to our partners in the beginning and you want to keep that up throughout your years together. So don't let yourselves go. Stay as fit as you can be and look good for each other. Make an effort because that is one thing that changes a lot in, in relationships. People give up. They don't care as much. They become complacent. And that is a very dangerous thing to allow in your relationship. You have to be open and honest with each other. That is what a marriage is all about. It's open communication. So don't forget to share things. Even if maybe you don't want to talk about it, it's still better that you both know what's going on because then you're at least not in the dark about it. And you can maybe find a way to fix it. So Daryl, please let me know what happens. I hope everything works out for you. As I said, you do love each other. So 
Don't be too quick to run out the door. If your wife isn't willing to try and fix this or make any changes, you'll have your answer there and then you can make your decision going forward. Thank you so much for sending me your question. It was a good one. And I know a lot of people are dealing with this right now, especially after 15 years and up in, in a long-term commitment. Things change. Thank you everybody for tuning in today. Please subscribe. I love it when you do that and leave any comments you have. Leave something for Daryl here in a comment that can help him as well. Thank you so much everyone. Bye-bye.